All right, you amazing Poco users out there, there is a new update available for Poco Launcher. Now, say about a month back, there was Poco Launcher 4.0 that came out as a you know test update and it brought along a lot of features and fixes but there were few issues which would stop you from using as a daily driver those issues have been fixed in this latest update and it can be installed on all the poco devices so stay tuned till the end while we see all the information and features that are included in this particular update of poco launcher but before we get into the details if you haven't already please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this now without further ado Hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kalash, let's get going. So first things first, right off the bat we are going to look at the POCO launcher and we will start by looking at the version of this particular launcher. So if you go to about, the version is now 4.36.0. 0.4826 hash dash whatever you want to call it a lot of changes here now it definitely is a good update just like the previous update of poco launcher because it does bring in a ton of fixes the major fix that we have here is whenever you set the home screen layout and rebooted the device it would go back to the default layout that really spoiled the party for a lot of people that is not the case anymore i have tried it more than twice whenever you reboot the device the home layout stays as it is at the same time, as you can see, look at these app icon animations. Now, there is a way to get these. It is somewhat not working in all the devices. So, there is a MIUI 11 theme that you need to install. I'll show you that. And also look at the wallpaper zoom animation. It is just smooth, splendid, and no matter what system app you're using, these icon animations are working really, really well. Now, one more major highlight of this POCO launcher update is the Google feed. Just like the previous update, just see how smooth and fluid the Google feed is, right? Now, just I, you know, just like I did it in the previous video, we'll do it once again. We will uninstall this particular update of Poco Launcher and then we'll see how the Google feed works. So let's type in Poco over here. You have Poco Launcher. Let's do uninstall updates. Okay, now, okay, let's allow the permissions here. Now let's go to launcher settings and see the launcher version 2.22. Okay. Now immediately the moment you go to Google feed, just look at this stutter. It's definitely there even after a day of using this launcher. It's not that you need to allow it to settle down or something like that. So, you know, even if you look at the user interface of this old POCO launcher, it is very, very different. There are not many features and options that are available. That is the reason the link for the updated launcher is mentioned in the description. You just need to go ahead and download it. We have it in our download and this is how you install it. Allow the file manager to make changes to your system and just install this as an update and you should be good to go. Hold on, don't go anywhere. We are yet to look at all the features of this new POCO launcher update one by one. Right. Now, what you see over here is we have installed the updated POCO launcher. It will take a couple of minutes to settle down. And in case you are not getting these app icon animations, all you need to do is you need to go to the theme store and you need to search for this particular theme, which is MIUI 11. So let's say we search MIUI 11 over here. This first theme that you get, you can go ahead and download it. Now you can choose to apply the entire theme or you can go to profile and you can go to icons and you can apply just the icons of this particular theme and you will have these beautiful app icon animations. Now at the same time, as you might be noticing, whenever I'm launching any application, the wallpaper is sort of zooming in and zooming out. Now that as well is not completely working. In order to enable that, what you need to do is you need to go to app, manage apps, select show system apps over here. There will be a wallpaper application here. So select wallpaper. This is the one. And in case you have uninstall updates as an option over here, just uninstall the updates, reboot your device once and you will have this wallpaper zoom effect as well. So these are a couple of workarounds that I would request you to use with the POCO launcher to enhance your experience. And yeah, let's go to the launcher settings now. Now, as you can see, you have transition effects. There is nothing new over here. 
these transition effects were present earlier as well. At the same time, you have set default screen. So the icon for set default screen at the bottom that you see over here, that has changed as well, which is really, really nice. Apart from this, you have the different home screen layout option, fill cells and installed apps, lock home screen layout. And the moment you go to more, you have the app drawer option over here. You can enable disable app suggestions. You can have app categories. I always keep it disabled. Background, scroll bar, A to Z is what you can select. These are all very, very basic options which were available and they are available now as well. Minus one screen can be set to App Vault or Google Discover. No changes there. Now there is definitely a major change over here in the animation speed section. You can choose between three options, relaxed, balanced and fast. Now let's switch it to fast. Just see how quick these animations are now. The whole, you know, app icon animation, the speed has increased a lot of everything, which is really, really good. I prefer something like this because the phone feels faster. Your choice may vary. If you choose relax, you know, these will be very, very slow and smooth. These look pretty good as well. And if you want to choose the middle road, well, you can go for balanced. The best of both world is what I would call it. As you can see, pretty decent experience over here as well. Now, once again, let's go to settings here. Now, apart from this, you have standard options like icon size, home screen layout. You can enable or disable global app icon animations, double tap to lock screen. You can choose horizontal or vertical recents. As you can see, the recents panels are also pretty smooth, which is a really, really good thing. Show memory status, blur app reviews and show suggestions. Now, as far as, you know, features of Poco Launcher are concerned, these are pretty much it. You know, those are all the features that are available in the new Poco Launcher update. This particular APK will work on all the Poco devices. On Poco devices which have 4GB RAM, there might be a few features that are missing. If you have a 4GB RAM powered Poco device and all features are working, let me know in the comment section which model you exactly have, right? This will definitely not work on, uh, you know, Xiaomi or MI or Redmi devices. As you can see, there is one more thing over here, new feature. As you can see, this is the in-app search query and all those options. So let's not enable that because that is sort of annoying for me. All in all, Poco team is finally doing some justice to the Poco launcher. We have pretty good devices by the Poco lineup. And in case, you know, last thing before ending the video, in case you don't like this particular launcher update for whatever reason you can just go to settings apps manage apps and uninstall updates for your poco launcher let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye